What is going on guys? Welcome back. Friday afternoon. Yes, we are back. We did not quit. We did not leave. I did not fall off the face of the earth. We are back. I know it was a little while there. Um, so we're back. It's Friday afternoon. We just got off work uh, a little bit later in the afternoon. Um, well, not afternoon. It's like six o'clock. But um, I honestly do not have a plan for today other than I think Mark and his cousin Billy are stopping by. We are gonna be taking a look at the uh, generator stuff a little bit closer. Billy is an electrician, so he's gonna let me know what I need there. Um, we do have the main plug already kind of set with the trailer there. Um, we just need to do some wiring on the actual generator itself. So uh, we're gonna try and get that squared away a little bit first in the, this morning. Mark is gonna help me look at these slides, how we can configure these the best, seeing that um, it, it's a little tricky just because the generator that we got is pretty much the uh, exact width and that's really because they're meant to just be in there and bolted in with the floor cut out. They're not really meant to be on slides so this box is just a little bit kind of small. So um, you're probably just, why, Greg, why didn't you have them put the fuel tank in? Why didn't you have them put the generator in? Well, you know me, I can't leave anything alone. I wanted to do it myself. I wanted to do it a little bit differently and I felt there was some better, different options as far as some of this stuff could, could, could go. So we got, and besides the fact that they wanted a million and a half dollars for the generator and all that other stuff. So we kind of worked around that a little bit. So just a little bit more work on my end, but hey, that's, that, that, that's, that seems how it goes. Um, I think we should open up a box here um, while we're waiting for Mark. I don't know, again, PO box is always down in the description. I don't, this is B&B Autosports? I don't think, maybe this is just a different box, but let's open this up while we're waiting for Mark here and then we'll get the day going the rest of the way. We'll head to the shop, do some stuff and things. What the heck? Okay. Oh man, somebody, okay. All right, see this is the, this is the problem. This is the problem on why, you know, I, dang, dang camera. Hi Greg, my name is Brett. I'm a longtime follower of your videos. I ordered these spike lug nut covers for my 2012 Mega Cab in hopes of painting them to match my suspension color, but ended up being too lazy. Instead, I bought chrome ones to match my wheels. These are a 33 millimeter thread on cap, so hopefully you can find use for them for your 18. Keep on making great content. Feel free to read my letter and plug my Instagram in your video if you like. Take a look at his dually. You take a look here, let me get this thing to focus. Dang, that is a serious dually. That is his Instagram. Go give this man a follow. Check these out. Of course, um, I want to say that they are all of the lug nut covers. Okay, they're all falling out at this point. Um, so, take a look. Take a look at these lug nut covers. The ones that uh, we had just got, um, that I actually just sent back for a different style. But maybe, maybe I will return those and use these. I don't know, people. You guys are too good. You guys don't need to send me stuff. But just for, just for old times' sake. Got the big mambas. All right. Well, I appreciate it, Brett. I thank you very much. I'm glad that you did not buy these and that these were just left over. I'm not sure if I will use them or not. But the thought is always greatly, greatly appreciated. I love you guys. You guys are seriously the best. In other dually related news, take a look at this exhaust tip that we got. So we might be, it looks like this might be for a little bit larger exhaust diameter. It looks like a six inch tip. So yeah, I think that might be happening. Stay tuned. Mark! Yes. Mark, it's fixed. It's fixed. Do you want to tell the people how it got fixed? Okay, so I left you, um, got home. This is unbelievable, by the way. This is not really what happened. We just don't know what happened. No, we know what happened. I pulled the tune out, reflashed the tune, put it back in, and it's good. Mark thinks by magically taking the 
No, because the tuna the out of the truck and then putting the tuna back in. Yeah, with, with the tuna, yeah. The tuna. The um, tuna can. Because you fixed the harness, and that was the problem. How you I'm doing, buddy? Over my door. How you doing, buddy? I know you're yeah, scared. No, you're yeah. so scared. I'm very scared. Buddy. All right. So what did you just do to the red truck? Oh, uh, well, we. Budget you're gonna, sh you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna show everybody what you just did. We budget straight piped it. The cheapest straight pipe in the world. Yeah. Billy, tell everybody about your new truck. New truck. Uh, picked it up in Pennsylvania. Uh, Five up. speed. Five speed common rail. Three hundred ten thousand miles. No problem so far. All right, what did we just do? Oh no, you gotta go to the other side. Oh, I gotta go, yeah, right, I gotta go to the other side. Yeah, we, we, we used what we had. Mark just did some terrible, terrible things to this thing. Yeah, it might not even still be on there. Right, it might have fallen off. Yeah. A piece of electrical conduit. That doesn't look too, too unlegit. It's what Bill had. It, th it just looks like normal pipe to me, but it's it's electrical conduit. Yep. <laughs> and, it's, and it's galvanized, so you get a nice white pulverizing when you weld. I think I see an elect uh, a ratchet strap cord hanging yeah, down yeah, here. We don't know what that is. You don't know what that is? We're going to use that as an exhaust hanger. It's getting ready to go around your drive shaft and pull out whatever it's attached to. Yeah, well, Bill's not worried about that. We're not going to worry about that? Yeah. World's, world's cheapest uh, do-it-yourself straight pipe kit right here. Just get yourself some electrical conduit from a job site and then uh you know get get somebody with a, a welder to splatter it together yeah yeah weld some regular pipe to some galvanized pipe and oh yeah wrap the whole thing up in about 14 minutes <laughs> and all of a sudden you just got a whole lot louder yeah nice all right i know mark is, mark is very scared so what we got to do is we got to take got to take all of this and and make this go. You're the electrician, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark, get out of here. You don't know what you're doing. This thing off. Ready? Oh boy. We're taking it apart already. Looks like a fish cooler. <laughs> All right. We're trying to look at where the mounting mounting stuff is. Oh gosh, look at the jiggle. Yeah, it's spring loaded. Nice. Doing. Ooh. Look at the nice muffler, Mark. Look at the nice muffler. Even the muffler's on yeah, springs. I can hear it running already. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just busting you. I guess it gets mounted, uh, I guess we're gonna have to make some mounting. guys so after a little while of going back and forth uh, we have come up with a good plan I need to probably go grab some uh, material some steel we're gonna build like an angle iron frame around this thing and kind of set it on that and you know it's 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 a whole thing it's a whole thing but uh, like I said when it, when it, when have we ever done anything easy but it's gonna be much better I can I can guarantee you it's gonna be much oh that one's not even last it's gonna be much better than what probably came from the factory so um, we did that, Mark, and this is something that you guys have been telling me for the longest time that we need to do to the dually. Um, I talked to Mark, Mark has some other things that he is going to paint for us. So we are going to be taking off the mirrors because Mark said that he wants them and he is going to paint them for us. Uh, so I need to take these off. I think that's probably what we're going to end up doing uh, the rest of this evening is try to take these things off nicely so Mark can paint match them. Even though the truck is black, it already has painted uh, door handles and pretty much everything else is paint matched on it except for these mirrors. So we are going to take these things off. Hopefully it is not too much of a big deal. Like I mentioned in yesterday's video, we do have some family stuff tomorrow. It's really kind of early. I need to get a haircut. I need to kind of clean this all up for this kind of uh, thing that we have to do tomorrow. Um, so probably not going to be a super long video. Let's, let's get to taking these things off and we'll go from there. I 
And so door panel and mirror removal on these fourth gens, really not that bad. A couple more steps. I do have a couple tips uh, that will help you maybe if you've never done this. So real easy, you gotta grab all of the little push clips around here. I usually try and pry them out by hand because uh, the bases of them, as you probably heard, can go flying. So I will try and kind of peel that back uh, and get the whole insert out before I take the door panel off. Once those are removed, you can move up here to uh, the handle area. There is a little, let me show you here. So this would normally be over this, kind of like so here. There's a little plate be, uh, covering this little bolt here. So you gotta undo the little cover, and then there's a screw that kind of goes right there, and then you kind of just peel this. Now, uh, the one thing I do want to show you guys, which will maybe save you guys, sorry here for this terrible, terrible. So this kind of sits in here like this. Your first move might be to try and peel from this area back here, but you actually want to grab from this front area because if you look back here, you can kind of, or is that supposed to be, see, I think these, are supposed to be bent kind of like this. They get a little tweaked, but these are actually supposed to be a little bit angled. So if you pull from back here, you're actually gonna make those straight, which you actually wanna keep them curved. They're supposed to slide into the groove kind of like so, like that. So make sure you peel from this area and then slide out. So uh, once you have done that, this thing is pretty much ready to just be lifted up this way. And then there's gonna be some electrical connections down in here. And then we're gonna have to remove uh, this. It's basically a support bracket for the mirror. There's a couple bolts. I'll show you guys that after we get this panel off. This bracket right here is the next thing that has to come off uh, just these 10 millimeter bolts and then what you'll have to do is the wiring uh, you're going to need to come down here to where all the wiring connects to in this um, undo your two connections here and then the whole entire wire will pull out with the mirror so that is the next step So a little side note, the light that's down here for the uh, door panel, the connection actually connects right up here, which I did not see, so a little correction on that. So uh, the one plug for the main controls is right underneath here, which is this one, and then on the driver's side, uh, the connection is actually here. On the passenger side, it's pretty much the exact same process. There's kind of two electrical plugs, uh, ex pretty much exactly the same process. So you guys saw me uh, take these bolts out, and then I kind of went from the other side, held it while I was do undoing the last one. Uh, so you can do it by yourself, just be careful. Don't undo those bolts, the mirror will most likely drop, and then and you will be crying for sure. All right, and there we have it. I will probably do Mark a solid and probably clean these things up. I don't want him getting angry at me. I know he's probably very scared. He's gonna look at this and be like, oh boy, we can't do it now. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and clean these things up a little bit later on. Uh, that is pretty much gonna do it for this video. I know there wasn't really like a ton of action in this video, but we did get some stuff accomplished today, so I feel good. Like I said, still a lot of family stuff going around in the background, kind of ran out of time tonight. Uh, we have a lot of stuff planned for tomorrow for that. So um, hopefully you guys understand that side of things. Um, that's gonna do it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you have not already. See you guys tomorrow. See ya.